Now let's confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed, found on page 104 in the hymnals, in the pew cards and the racks, and in our minds and hearts. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally God of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, be God not made, but the one made of the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified unto Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We will look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Rejoicing in the good news of Christ's birth and dwelling in hope, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of creation. Holy God, you raise up leaders throughout the church to proclaim your word of hope. Unite the church through the good news of salvation so that all will know and experience your glory. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Holy God, you created mountains and hills, seas and rivers, and all creatures. Reveal to us the goodness of all you have made, so that we live wisely with these, your gifts. Lord, in your mercy. <clears throat> Holy God, you desire that all people live in peace. Guide all in positions of authority to lead with equity and give courage to advocates who speak for the voiceless. Lord, in your mercy. <clears throat> Holy God, you sent your Son to be our physician and remedy. Strengthen medical professionals and counselors to care for the sick and grieving with kindness and compassion. We pray especially for Linda's mom, Shirley, for all those listed in our bulletin, for those in hospitals and in hospice care on Christmas, those we mention now, either aloud or in our hearts. so that all people experience healing and consolation. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Holy God, you gather us together in community, blessing us with friends and family. Make yourself known to all who participate in worship today and send us forth to serve our neighbors. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Holy God, be with those in our armed forces and all those who are celebrating Christmas away from family and friends today. Help them to feel your abiding presence in their lives. Fill them with your spirit of Christmas peace. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Holy God, you show your love and faithfulness in every generation. Through the witness of our ancestors in faith, you have shown us how to testify to your grace and truth. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Hear the prayers of your people, glorious God for the sake of the one who became one of us to redeem the whole world, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Amen. Amen.